today we're talking about the one and only James Grimm uh, physics chemistry astrophysics nuclear physics all these different studies and other types of sciences that he taught at Pasadena High School he's been there for almost 30 years he's one of the greatest teachers I've personally ever had and he's one that truly does care about students so when was it that you started in Piscataway High School? As a student? No, nah, as a teacher. Oh, as a teacher, I started here in 1991. And you were a student here? I was a student. I'm a graduate of Piscataway High School. Wow. How was it when you were at school? Uh, about the same as it is now. Really? Like things haven't changed really towards? Not really. The only thing that's changed is technology. You know, we have technology in the classrooms. Mm. Um, some of the programs have gone away. Um, but for the most part, it's the same, the same types of students, same desires. You know, we all have the same wants you guys have. And so when you were younger, did, was it like better or worse, do you think, like due to technology? Better and worse. Uh, with, you know, the technologies, I think it's a distraction for, for a lot of the students in class. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're always on their phone looking for stuff. You know, they want instant answers. And in life, things don't come easy and quickly. Mm -hmm. When I was a student, we had to go to the library to research stuff, we yeah. had to type stuff out. We made mistakes, you know, and it took a lot more time. So the technology, it's good in the fact that you have answers right away for you, mm -hmm. but it's also bad in the fact that sometimes we're not working as hard as as, as you guys should because because the kids are trying to get to the easy answer. Yep, you want the easy answer. You want instant gratification. You know, and there's. I think we've lost a bit of patience, and and you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes down the road. Yeah. You know, it's, gonna, it's 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 a learning curve for everybody. I think this teachers and the students. It's how to deal with technology. And so this is your what year? What year is this? Like this is year number twenty nine. Wow. And if you could, would you go back and change anything that you've like done? No. You would still be a teacher at Pasadena High School. Oh yeah. Yep. I, I, I was born in this town, raised in this town. I, you know, I went to high school here. I still live in town. My kids are in the school system. I think it's, I think it's a great school. If you could, well, like, if you could do any other job, like if you could go back to when you were younger, even if, like, not, let's not say teaching, but would you have any other occupation that you would do? Probably not. Really? Yeah, probably not, no. And from like so you've seen plenty of different like teachers and principals and all that type of stuff like do you think that school has a lot to, like the principal itself has a lot to do with like how the school is ran and everything like that i think the principal has a sets the tone for the for, for the building okay but not not really the principal more the the, the administrative team mm -hmm. okay, sets the tone I think it's the teachers which which run with that run with the ball. You mm -hmm. know, we're the ones on you know on, on the field. Yeah. Think about football. We're the ones play, you know making the plays mm -hmm. uh, with the students. Um, principals, you know, they uh, I hardly ever see them. You know, they're you know they are behind the scenes. They're they're running things, but I don't you know I don't really see that they really have a huge impact on me personally on a day by day basis. Yeah. You know, it's more, it's my, my interaction with the students, you know, even, and my supervisor, okay? As you go up, you, you see less and less people. But they do they have a very important job here, you know. Just, we can't survive without them. With yeah. The principals around. Would, if you could, like, would you, you, I know you said that you wouldn't have any other occupation. Have you ever dreamed, like, from when you were younger, you ever dreamed, of, did, like, when you were younger, did you think that you were going to be a teacher, it's, like, always growing up? Yep, I've always felt I wanted to go into teaching. Oh, because, like, you, oh, yeah. schooling. Yep, I just enjoy it. And what was your favorite subject I, out of all the subjects that you've taught? Because you said that, what, what were all the subjects that you, that you have taught? Well, currently I'm teaching physics, which I've done for the majority of my career. Uh, I've had to teach a, ke a chemistry class here and there, um, an environmental science class. I've taught astronomy a lot of my career. I taught an astrophysics course, which we no longer offer here. Um, and I taught freshman physical science and general science when I first started teaching. Uh, out of all of them, I enjoyed the physics and the astronomy. Um, it's, you know, I would like to see the freshmen, you know, like, like a physical science mm -hmm. class come back around again, mm -hmm. revitalize that, but again, that's up to the supervisors and, and the administrators. Mm -hmm. You know, I've expressed my, my thought process behind it, and 
you know, I got to live with their decision. But I really enjoy teaching physics and astronomy. What was the worst thing that ever happened to you, like while you were at Piscataway High School teaching? Oh, the worst thing that ever happened to me? Uh, there's, I, there's a list of stuff. Uh, hmm. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm really... I can't say there are bad things happen to me. It's just mm -hmm. bad things in life happen in general. Mm -hmm. And I've received a lot of bad news in while my personal being. life while, I, while, while I've been here. Mm -hmm. uh, my, I was teaching class. Actually, I, 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 I can tell you the worst day I ever had in my life here. Um, I was teaching class, and one of my favorite teachers, who was my colleague, Mr. Weinberger, mm -hmm. um, who was not well, you know, he was towards the, at the end of his career. He'd been sick for a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Uh, my supervisor at the time, I was in the middle of class, we're having a great day, great discussion, everything was wonderful. He appeared at the door, he knocked on the door. My supervisor, uh, Joe Conti, knocks on the door and he looks at me and he just had a look on his face and I just knew. I, mm. I knew that, that, that Harry had passed. And, and to, that, to this day, just, just to look on that, you know, because he was a good friend of mine, it just really, it was devastating to, to, to lose a colleague of mine. The, the student population was, was devastating. So but it, that, was, that was a horrible day. Uh, I also remember 9-11. Mm. Oh, you were definitely teaching at night time. Yep, 9-11 happened. I was in this classroom, and we had Channel 1 at the time where we had TV during homeroom. Uh, and it came up on the TV, and the principal at the time gathered the staff, and he said, what do we do? And we just said, let's keep the day going. You know, just, just try to, so the parents know where the kids are at. And everybody mm -hmm. knows where everybody at. But that was, that was another horrible day. And, you know, some other bad news about some other people. But I, Harry Weinberger, that, that, that one still hurts today. Today, it, it, it should, not, should not have happened. And do you think that Piscato High School, since you've been a teacher here for so long and you've seen so many kids go on to like the next level, collegiate level in college, do you think that Piscato High School prepares kids for college? Oh, without a doubt. With, uh, oh, so it, it's, the rewards of my job, I, I, I don't, at the end of the day, I don't see a building built. You know, a carpenter says, I finished that project. Mm -hmm. I don't really get to see that. However, every now and then I see it. Um, a couple of years ago, I was on the baseball field for Little League, and this guy comes running across the field, gives me this huge bear hug. I looked at him straight. I said, I'm looking at him. Oh, who are you? And I said, wait a minute. I started to recognize the face. Uh, he was one of my former students who I had when I first started teaching. Oh, wow. And I jokingly said to him, I said, where's your garbage truck? Because I remember t telling him if he didn't set himself straight, he'd be driving a garbage truck the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. And he tur turned his points to Alexis and he says, I'm driving that. I said, what are you doing now? He says, I'm the lead engineer up at Picatinny Arsenal. Wow. Blew me away. I was so happy for him. A lot of other students have come back to either teach here. Uh, Miss uh, Etchinson, or, sorry, uh, uh, I can't think of her name. Right, okay. right? But she's, uh, she's uh, Miss Edmondson. Mm -hmm. the, she was one of my students. She's the head of the, the, this uh, guidance department. Okay, one of my former students. I've seen him go on to do amazing things, okay? Um, I, I don't know how many times, you know, I've gone to Dunkin' Donuts to go get a cup of coffee, and one of my students who's in college now, hey, Mr. Grimm, how you doing? Hey, I'm wow. going home. I'm, taking, I'm take, getting all A's in physics, you know? I'm, I'm like, hey, wonderful, you know, that's great. So I think this school prepares the students very well if they take the opportunity to do it. Yeah, because you can only to have uh, give somebody so much, but they have to still push forward for their yeah. own selves. Yep. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. That's true. I remember you told me that last year. And when you were younger, what inspired you to become a teacher? Well, my mother was a teacher in, in, in the school system. And I always, and I think, you know, I, I, I always like to help people out and, you know, try to make things better. Mm. Uh, it wasn't really till I got to high school that uh, there was another teacher by the name of Dave Kane, who was a math teacher. Uh, he 
he had been working in industry for you know for for AT and T or Bell, Bell Telephone at the time, um, and he hated it. Mm. And he and just to see the passion in his teaching. Same thing with Mr. Weinberger, the passion in teaching. And I was like, you know, these these guys really Cared love about what job. they're doing. You know, and I was like, you know, that's at the end of the day, it's not about how much money I make; it's about how happy I am. Because you know, you asked me before how many years it, it it's been. I can't. Care. I had to do the math on the board. <laughs> yeah. All right, I had to count out the years. 20, 28, 29 years goes goes by like that. It seems like I've only been here 10. It really does. Wow. You know, and i probably got another 10 or 15 years left in me. And it will probably fly by as well. So, you know, if you love what you're doing, you'll never work a day in your life. And That's I true. haven't worked yet. That's true. Everyone will tell you that. He doesn't work. <laughs> but I do. You know, I, I'm very passionate about what I do. I love it. You know, it's great. All right. Thank you again. Oh, you're Have welcome. a great day. Okay. Appreciate it.